Bartlett, I breed greyhounds. Probably the nicest breed that you'll ever come across, as you can see. Um, I've been involved with them since I was five years old because my father raced greyhounds. So I've never, ever been in a house that hasn't had a greyhound. Our last racing greyhound died and because a racing dog is considerably more expensive than a show dog, we decided that when we were on holiday, we'd get the local paper. The only breed that was <laughs> available was an Irish setter, which I had great good fortune to buy one from the Sour Hill Kennels, which won its very first show, which once you're bitten by the bug, that's it. And from then on, you know, I, I decided that if I were going to show dogs, I might as well go and get a greyhound. So I went to the world-famous show fleet kennel, Barbara Wilton Clark, who sold me the most beautiful bitch and several others afterwards, which all done incredibly well. We made our first champion up, which was a show fleet bitch. They are... The easiest breed to actually keep, they're clean, they're quiet, they're reasonably responsive most of the time. <laughs> they can be very difficult when they want to be, having very, very deaf ears. But as you can see, there's two dogs here, one of them a stud dog, and they live very, very happily together. The characteristics are just unbelievable. They're good-tempered, easy to get on with with um, strangers, incredibly good with children. And the ideal dog, really, for anybody to own, particularly the elderly, because they're very, very lazy, as you can see. Um, not the most enthusiastic dog once they've had a good run round in the paddock. They came over from the ancient Egyptians thousands of years ago. And many, many, many years ago, they were only allowed to be owned by royalty. And they were basically used for hunting to provide their lordship's lunch. Um, and if the peasants were found owning one, the dog was destroyed and their hands were cut off. A little barbaric, but there you go. <laughs> Basically, the difference of, between a racing greyhound and a showground is the racing dogs were b bred to run round in a nice oval circle. The show greyhounds are just bred to look pretty. They've got a, a wider, broader head, slightly narrower in muzzle, much, much stronger neck, less angulation in the front, the shoulders are far further laid back, much less depth in the brisket, usually a lot wider in front, more spring of rib, slightly smoother back line and far less angulation behind. 99% of them are very low in hock and a much, much stronger tail. And this is what really judges need to actually look at, is the fact that they are a totally different type. Not a different breed, just a different type. Um, every track has got a rescue kennel now, and every owner has to pay a percentage of their um, dog's prize money to the care of racing greyhounds. Um, they are manned by probably the, mo the best dedicated people that you could come up against. They hold endless fundraising activities every single week that you can probably um, find somewhere that you can find a show or a walk or some fundraising effort. And every dog that is taken into kennels, when it's ready to be rehomed, the homes are vetted and the people are vetted and the 
people are kept in contact for quite some considerable time afterwards to make sure the dog is healthy and happy.